In this video, we are going to show how you can load images on your Amstrad CPC using a smartphone. There are several ways to do that, but the easiest and most convenient is using Java CPC, a brilliant platform with applications. You have to download and install the Java environment first and then install the Java CPC. Close this window, open Java CPC Paint, press Normal, and through the second button here, you can open the image of your choice. This app converts images into binary. There are also many useful faders here in order to adjust your image, and then you just have to save it. Use a short name because if your file's name contains many characters, you will have a problem. And then just wait for the processor to do its job till the LED here stops flashing. And now the image is loaded in our disk's memory. We can see the contents of the disk drive by just typing cut. And as you can see, our screen file was saved in the virtual disk along with the PAL file which stores the palette. Now you can open this little app here that converts disk files into CDT, double click on each file and create a CDT file with a small name again. Now we can open our virtual tape recorder, load our CDT file and convert it to WAV. And as you can see, our WAV file consists of many blocks. Our image is stored in a binary format. We move over to our tape and with the load command you can load your image on your screen. I will fast forward the loading. And as you can see, the image is slowly slowly appearing on the screen. It takes a while as the processor goes line by line, pixel by pixel. Now that we tried on the emulator, we can try also on a real Amstrad CPC. Connect your smartphone. And copy over the web files. We are going to use a smartphone because it is much more convenient as the tape drive of the CPC is notorious for its problems after being used for a long time. And there is another reason that we might want to use a smartphone and that is because most cassettes were recorded at a 44,1 kHz rate which sends the data in the processor quite fast while the Java CPC gives us the ability to slow down the rate to 22 kilohertz, which is more suitable for an 8-bit computer and makes it easier for the CPU to read the data. So, to connect your smartphone, you are going to need one of these. This is called cassette adapter and you can find one on the internet for a low price.
place it inside with the deck open and connect it to your smartphone. Now I'm going to type in the load command. Press the play button of my tape deck. And also press play on the preferred file on my smartphone. And as you can see, the image is being loaded exactly as it did on the emulator. Our image is loading at the speed of light. I am fast forwarding here the loading process. And our image loading is almost complete. As mentioned at the beginning of the video, there are more ways to convert an image to a screen file. One way is this program here called Conv Image CPC that works in a similar way as the Java CPC. You load an image and it converts it to a binary file. In the exact same way that we loaded an image on a CPC using a smartphone, you can load any type of software, program or game for the sake of this tutorial, I am going to load a Star Wars game. After you load the disk file on the Java CPC platform, you can just convert it to CDT as we did earlier. And now open the CDT file with a virtual cassette deck. Save it in a WAV file. Move it over to our smartphone. Have the cassette adapter in your CPC. Type the run command, press play on your cassette deck and also press play on the preferred file using your smartphone. In our case that will be the starwars.wav. And as you can see the game is being loaded on our beautiful CPC 464. And it has the Oscar winning music of the best composer of the 21st and 20th century, Sir John Williams.
I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did when I discovered how to load my Quasimodo face on the brilliant screen of the Amstrad CPC.